Hi, all. Welcome back to the and Knowledge Center. And in this demonstration, we'll see the example of polymorphism, that is runtime polymorphism. Runtime polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism or right late one. So as part of my uh, discussion, we just, we just discussed the word virtual and uh, override the word right. So we are just directly jump into the studio and see like how we are going to actually this method override. So I'm going to say that using system, which is what we call me, space as part of we do this. Yeah, we should be small, right? We will system mean space is no or I don't know. Ah. That is why right name string argument. This is my name method, right? And here I'm going to write same class and then you can this overriding only applicable then you do are in here. Okay. So I'm not going to do any uh, thing inside of it. I'm just going to declare method of y, right? Just get um one of me right instead of this and just going to right line up in owner of parent class is parent or the owner of the right owner of this class is parent and I want to implement so I'm declaring the class by just reviving this, and I want to implement it. Got it. When you do this, it is immediately showing me one thing that this is hiding inside because you already have a pairing with the same method. What do you do that? We get this implement, right? We have to define it as virtual so that it is ready to you know, override, and here you need to specify override. So that we will not get any exception. And when you create an object for your parent, you can access parent class, and you can access the state class authority. Right. So when say parent would be equal to new parent, right? And I'll just say parent dot get owner mean. Right. And I do it with the one equal to new cell. Right. I can call which cell, you know, owner name as a key. And I will say control dot by sign and I run that. Okay. Let me see if my directory can be number. Oh. This class flow, this class cell. I think I'll define another one. When you run this, you can see that the method is over overriding and printing the required line. When you run this, you will see the owner of this class is failing, the owner of this class is failing. We have found on a cell to create a cell on each cell. This time, from now, we see a car order is failing on each cell. That means two methods going to be involved to create the nature and the denial and failure. With the help of virtual and overlay, we are just assuming the cell overriding here. That's why we can override and run time polymorphism in front of the picture. And while I'm running it, so while I'm compiling, it won't remove any or it won't determine any method. But while I'm computing, based on the you know, object, it is going to set the parent, and based on the child, it is going to set failure. Okay, very simple method overriding concept. 
we want to understand more on metaphor writing, let me show you another example of metaphor writing. Um, for example, uh, the writing I'm going to displace. Well, I'm just removing this class and replacing it. And looking at this class and this class, I have a drawing class which is having an area, right? And again, I have a circle class, right? And again, I have a square class. The drawing is basically a super class, it's basically derived right, into the circle as well as square. If you want to draw a circle or a square, you need drawing. So you need to have drawing the square class. When you look at this circle, I have one more attribute, the width, right? I have a constructor and I just a certain radius here. And we just override this method into my space class using override and just printing return 3.14 multiplied by map for radius from the tree. And similarly, in square, I just inherited from my drawing with a circle class and declare length here for the square. And this one comes to the same space. Nothing really is being overridden here. And I'm just returning the same thing. Similarly, here are rectangle. Same thing is doing. We need height and width, and the area is being overridden here. Coming to this mini program where you are invoking, right? I just created for circle square rectangle, right? Not for a super class. So I'm just using, right, this area class, and all the areas I'm just following it. But you see, the third is overridden in circle square rectangle here. And if we run this, yes, it is going to invoke its individual method. When we run this, and we see the output of area of the possible area for cycle, area for star, area for rectangle. That's how it is going to invoke, you know, the um, same method in this same class. Okay. I hope you understand. Time we already found the case in what's going over at keywords. And thanks for this video, and please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.